Anderson County, not too far away either. Hey, look at this. We've got a beautiful sunrise underway. Our 21C Museum Hotel live camera. Beautiful. Another vantage point from St. Joseph Hospital. Much the same. A little bit of housekeeping before we get into the main forecast here. If you're an allergy sufferer, sad to report tree pollen creeping back up after that recent rain. We're back up to medium levels. It's still oak, sycamore and maple. And speaking of the severe weather that we had earlier this week, remember the wind damage that we talked about out towards uh, Washington, Marion County, specifically near, near the Makers Mark Distillery in Loretto. The National Weather Service sent out a, a survey crew. They sent up a drone and looked at the damage and uh, determined it was straight line wind damage, not tornadic, but 70 mile per hour winds that knocked some of those trees down by the distillery. So uh, that's in the books and the max track shows that we are free and clear of any precipitation this morning. That will change though later on tonight. Uh, there's rain on the move and in fact some of these showers could be in here as early as later on this evening, although I think most of it will be this evening and overnight and it's not going to be a lot, but it's yet another chance for active weather. And that's the way the forecast is going to go. Active weather, very cool weather, and sustained over uh, quite a long period of time here. High pressure briefly ridging in. That's why we have a quiet morning. And there you can see these showers, thunder showers, diving south tonight. As the line rolls in, it should be weakening. But we'll have a quick line of uh, some possibly moderate to heavy rain and some gusty thunder showers, and then it's through. We've got a quiet morning and then into the afternoon. Boom, scattered showers redeveloping on that northwesterly wind. Some of those could be gusty thunder showers and some small hail. So watch out for that Friday afternoon. Then you got a warm front coming in Saturday after a quiet Saturday morning. This boundary may lift just far enough north to throw some showers and storms our way. And then a cold front's going to follow it up. Speaking of cold, it's 40 degrees out there. The winds are calm and it's not just 40. It's in the upper 30s in spots. You've got 36 in Mount Sterling, 37 in Danville. It's 38 up in Bismarck, North Dakota, so we're rivaling North Dakota temperatures early this morning. Uh, it's actually much warmer uh, just out towards Memphis and St. Louis. They're in the 50s. So what's up? We've got this unusually cool air entrenched across a good chunk of the U.S. Big trough that's dug in. That's why it's unsettled and that's why it's cool. Uh, so we're not going to see a whole lot of change. This could stay fairly persistent. We're showing you all the way through at least the middle of the month. Mid-May, this is May 11th through May 15th, the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook showing that big bubble, that big bullseye below normal temperatures, midsection, the U.S. running all the way to the East Coast, the Ohio Valley, uh, and uh, you don't even run into around normal temperatures until you head down toward the Gulf Coast. So for today, mid-60s, which, you know, sounds good. Remember, our average high today in Lexington, 73 degrees. So yeah, we're, we're below, way below what we would usually see this time of the year. Partly sunny and cool, those isolated showers late. Mostly cloudy showers, a few thunder showers this evening and overnight, and then scattered showers tomorrow afternoon, and then so it goes through the weekend. It looks like our best bet for the most widespread shower and storm uh, coverage is going to come late in the weekend, Sunday, and we're still running cool all the way through next week.